Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally unboxing my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of August. I know this has been a long time coming. I know I haven't posted any videos in a while. I promise I've been, um, I don't want to say working hard because I have not been working hard on YouTube because I've been working hard on grad school which I am loving but it is also very time consuming, very stressful coupled with the gta -ing that I am doing. So um, yeah, lots going on with me and none of it really involving makeup so I'm so happy to finally sit down and let you guys know what I thought of my August Ipsy Glam bag. As always in this video I will tell you what I got, what I thought of what I got, and how much it approximately cost. The theme for Ipsy's August Glam bag was no filter and the bag is kind of a fun orangey peach toned bag with a little frilly pull. I don't love or hate this one, it's just kind of fun and orange which is kind of what they've been doing a lot of like bright colors recently. Up first is this Parisian brand Othermal Aven Cleanance. It is a gel cleansing um, soap I guess. I don't know. It's just like a cleansing soap. It's like a face wash but it's jelly um, which is kind of nice. Um, it doesn't look like I've used a lot of this but I've actually been using this probably every day. Um, maybe every other day for the past almost month at this point so um it lasts for a very long time because you only need like the smallest amount of this gel since you kind of like foam it up it works really well i really like this it is supposedly one of the things that it's good for is for treating acne for treating breakouts and i definitely have noticed a decrease in breakouts after using this and it doesn't dry up my skin which is really great because i find that with some kind of acne treatment product, stuff that has salicylic acid and stuff like that, that it actually um, fixes my breakouts, but then uh, dries my skin out. So this does not do that. It keeps my skin looking nice and breakout free and hydrated, and I really like it. And the approximate retail value for the sample is $3.56. Next up is this SL Miss Glam Rose Gold Blusher Brush. Now, you might remember two months ago, I think, I received a different brush from the SL Miss Glam collection. This is very similar. Actually, it's basically identical. The shape is pretty much the same. It's not that much fuller. The quality is the same as well. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like little hairs sticking off of it already, and I've only used this a couple of times. So it's just not really well made. I don't think it works as a blush brush. I don't think it's fluffy enough to blend out the blush. Um, I have been using this as a highlighting brush, which I do like it for that effect. But again, I'm not super impressed with the quality of the brush and um, that it's not doing what it was said it was going to do. Same with the previous brush. I can't find this one as an individual brush on the SL Miss Glam website, but based off of the value of their brush sets, it looks like this brush is worth about $13, which it's not worth $13. <laughs> Next up is this cute little Glamour Dolls Sweet Treats Lip Gloss. You probably know I'm not a huge lip gloss person. I am wearing it right now. It is kind of nice. It's like a peachy pinky color, very glittery. I do like it. It lasts adequate for a lip gloss. Um, I don't love it, but I really do like the packaging. I think the packaging is adorable. It is way more convenient than I thought it would be just because the little top twists out and then that's how you apply it. So I just thought that is super cute. I'm a big fan of like themed packaging and this is just like right up my alley. As far as I can tell, this is actually the full size, so it is worth about $5. Super excited about this. This is the Formula 1006 3 Time Sublime. It is a 3-in-1 blackhead wash, scrub, and mask with pink grapefruit and jojoba. I love this. I love Formula 1006. I was originally introduced to this brand through Ipsy and I've bought multiple products from this brand because they're just amazing and they use a lot of natural stuff in their products and I find that that works best for my skin and their products work really well for my skin. This does the exact same thing. It's like a scrub wash mask 
literally like I just said, but you apply it, you let it sit, you let it dry, and then you scrub and wash it off, and it just makes your skin feel super smooth, super refreshed, and I definitely did notice a difference in the acne and in the blackheads on my nose, which I feel like I've been having troubles with. So I was really excited about this, or I love this brand, so getting it in my Ipsy Glam bag kind of made the whole month worth it. The other thing that I love about this brand is that it is super affordable, so this sample size is actually worth $2. And then last but not least, I got a little pan of the Ciate London Go To Glow Highlighter in the shade Moon Dust. Now, I have mixed feelings about this. As you can see, it is super pretty, looks absolutely gorgeous on, but it does have a lot of fallout. It does have a tendency to kind of look chunky on the skin rather than smooth and blended. But if you are looking for a glowing, beaming highlight, this is your best bet. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's super pretty. It's kind of a silvery, pinky toned highlight. So I do love this. I will continue to use it, but I just wanted to point out the fallout and the tendency towards the chunk. I have heard really good things about this highlighter and I love Ciate London, so I was excited to try this, especially since this shade and one other shade of the four shades are actually sold out on the Sephora website, so definitely kind of cool to try this and I love the shade that they sent. Again, it's Moon Dust if you're looking for it. Really, really pretty, kind of pinky, very cute. Anyways, the approximate retail value for this sample is $9.60. So for those of you who are not keeping score, that brings the approximate retail value of the August Ipsy Glam Bag up to $33.16. So that is, you know, an average amount for a glam bag. But again, glam bags cost $10 every single month, so that is right there three times the value. I don't think you can ask for anything better than that. I think that's a really, really good value, a really good deal, and again, I liked most of the products that I got, the only thing that I wasn't a huge fan of was the brush, and I don't love the gloss, but I will still use it, and I'll still use the brush. So it is never like a lose, or I never feel like I'm wasting my money when I use and get my Ipsy Glam bag. If you would like to try it out for yourself, which I highly recommend, I will definitely leave my personal furrow link down in the down bar, and while you're there, you should give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure you check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, at Ilea. I would love to see you there, and if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing, definitely subscribe to my channel. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry for the long hiatus, but I am hopefully going to be back now. I'm going to try. Grad school is crazy, but thank you guys so much for the love and for the support and for everything, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.